How do I monitor my decline with ALS? I will show you. There's something called the ALS FRS, which is the functional rating score. So I will take the test in front of you today. I'm starting at 48 points and I'll lose points throughout. So speech, my speech is normal. Salivation is normal. Swallowing is normal. Handwriting is, eh, let's give it a slower schlappy. Cutting food and handling utensils, no help needed. Dressing and hygiene, intermittent assistance or substitute methods. You can see I'm losing some points here. Turning in bed, Great difficulty. Walking, non-ambulatory only. Dropped three. Climbing stairs, cannot do. Shortness of breath, I'm gonna say none. Breathing while sleeping, I actually do have some difficulty. Do not use a BiPAP. Okay, so I'm at 34 points, so I'm like a C student. C's get degrees. Nine month survival, what's that? What's that, brother? I don't mind using this for my ALS clinic team to see how I'm doing, but I think when it comes to a trial, that's when it gets a little scary because you're like, if this is the only measurement, it's not really capturing all of the truth. For example, if one of your hands like regains function using a trial medication, it doesn't really capture that in here because they're just asking you for like handwriting and cutting food. That is why people are really pushing for biomarkers with ALS, trying to find some data in our blood or our spinal fluid to be able to track the progression of the disease. But for now, we got the good old FRS score. But hi, I'm Brooke. I was given the terminal diagnosis of ALS. Today is day 15 of posting every day for ALS Awareness Month. I think it's also the first day that I've worn my hair up, so hope y'all still like me. And see you tomorrow.